Hi everyone. Okay, I wanted to share some new type of artwork that I've been working on. And I was super, super um, inspired by an artist named Amber Fletschock. It Her last name is F-L-E-T-S-C-H-O-C-K. She's a collage artist. And she has her stuff in, um, in some galleries, I guess, in Minnesota. And um, so that's what this has inspired me to do. She takes different pieces from magazines and everything, everywhere. And she puts them together, but in such an artistic way. And this is sim this is inspired by her work, and I am in love with it. So before I go in closer on this, I want and I'm going to show you. I, I have a piece I'm going to do um, live here on this um, on this video. But I want to first show you some of her artwork. So I'm going to okay, just a second. I have my computer here, which I should have okay. That's one way of doing it. Okay, just a second, you guys. I have my computer here, and I want to start showing you some of her work. Okay. Like, look at this. Isn't this so cool? Let me zoom in. Isn't that just beautiful? This is all with magazines. It's, like, insane. It's taking all these different aspects and putting it all together. I am in love with this stuff. Look at that one. So I'll just kind of go through them and let you guys see them. Isn't her stuff gorgeous? She only has two um, things on YouTube. And it's not even her own channel. It's just people who like her work and were interviewing her. Um, so there's two interviews on there. So you can put her name in and check those out. These are pictures that are on um, like Google. Like when I Google like her artwork. Isn't it just fabulous, you guys? And I ran into her by accident on YouTube, you know, just looking at different mixed media type of stuff. I am in love, so inspired by her work. And nothing makes me happier than to look at a bunch of cool magazine images and then put them together in such a creative, artistic, beautiful way. And it's so beautiful. It looks like it's like, um... Digital for digital art is what it really looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'll just show you a couple more. I mean, I'm just so in love with this, her stuff, with her work. It's just fabulous. I don't think that's hers. Yeah, that wasn't hers. Look how gorgeous this all is. <gasps> everything people everything that's not hers that's not hers okay so i think we came to pretty much the end of her stuff there okay that's not hers okay there we go all right so let me put this aside my ipad that was fun that's the first time i've ever like put my ipad in the camera before anyway so i want to show you my piece this like i said was inspired by her and this is mine you guys see make sure you guys see the bottom of it I think it turned out pretty cool like I can just kind of go through it a little bit because it's just weird that some of the stuff could be so cool put together like this was um, some capsules but it's a whole capsule that goes all the way down to the end of the page but I covered most of it up of course um, this was I don't know I just I actually cut this shape out myself. It was maybe a statue and I cut that shape out myself. These were two diamond rings over here, but then I put um, this um, light fixture on top of that. This is some other type of a ring here. And I put this other piece that I created there. This was, I don't know, maybe like a gravestone or something. I'm not sure, but this was a piece of chain and I just took half that piece of chain and put that there. This is a ring. That I put on top of this gravestone. I think that's a gravestone. I'm not really sure. Um, this is a big piece of cabbage. <laughs> and then this is uh, purple broccoli. But look how cool things can look. And then from here, I put a piece of chain here. This is a piece that, um, of, I think, a skirt. And I um, drew, drew this like teardrop out and put that in myself. This right here is a braid. Is a person's braid. <laughs> and again... I cut out another teardrop to put on this. This was like a skirt, and I drew out the teardrop. 
this right here I'm not sure what the heck it was but I like the shape so I cut that out um, over here we have a piece of a pot and I ripped it so it looks kind of like a broken piece of pottery and there's another piece of pottery here but there's some flowers right here coming from the broccoli and then a really cool eye ball with an eyebrow and I just thought it was really cool so I really like how that one turned out and then I have another one this is really pretty let me see if you guys can see the top all right let's move this down so you guys can see the top let's let you see the whole thing first okay let's see if we can see the whole thing there we go we got a picture of the whole thing I love it okay so now let's go on closer so you can kind of see like what I'm doing all right, this was a, the head of some type of a statue and I cut the body off. This was a piece of a necklace and I put that there. Um, this was this background, all this right here was like a lady's jacket and I love that jacket. Um, took her head off and just wanted the fabric of that and the shape of that jacket. This is um, some type of a flower. I think it was a ring. Then I put this cool shoe on top of that. Okay, this piece right here, I have saved this for like probably 15 years out of a Southwest magazine, and I always loved it. So finally, I found the perfect thing to use it. <laughs> so I put this here. This is like a blown piece of glass, I think. So I put that like, like it's coming out of the purse. Uh, this is uh, a wedding band or just a band, period, which I thought was cool. I'm not sure what the heck that is, but look how cool it looks hanging from like this flower area. And then over here is another ring, which is kind of tucked in behind this purse and the beads. And this is a piece here that actually, as I was cutting things out, the piece just kind of formed itself. So I put that here. And then right here is a piece of chain. Well, here from its mouth, this was, okay, a second. Right here from the mouth of this statue um, is, I think, the other half of this piece over here. And then I took a piece of chain, a piece of some gold chain, and and circled that there that's the piece of the gold chain so anyway I just love this artwork I am like super inspired sorry guys I love it and I am like oh this is like my thing you guys you guys know I love taking bits and pieces that people would just throw in the garbage or you know getting ready to take these magazines and just hawk them somewhere and do something beautiful with them so okay so I'm going to do a piece on air with you guys or I should say on air on this video and it's this is not glued down yet I got to be careful with it all right so this is the piece um, this goes right here and this isn't glued down yet but I have it arranged how I believe I want everything Okay, so let me give you an overall view of this. Okay. I think this is really pretty. This um this right here is a piece of a butterfly. And this is a I use this in another one of the ones I was showing you, a light fixture type of thing. So that's there. This is something I cut out and then something else I cut out. I'm not sure what the heck they were. Again, this was like some architectural piece here and here and then right here on top of it I laid um, some scissors isn't that look cool and then um, down here this was like I'm not really sure it was something in a landscape and I thought it was so cool so I cut that out this was a really cool boot which I thought was just beautiful look how gorgeous that boot is isn't that gorgeous right here? This is a piece of a necklace, a rhinestone piece of necklace. And then hanging over here is some type of a silver and, I don't know, marble chain. I thought was cool. So I think this turned out really, really cool. So we are going to, I'm going to let you guys see me glue this all down and create another piece. Okay, so let me gather my supplies and I'll be right back. Okay, I've gathered all my supplies and um, I'm going to, oh, and I guess I should say, welcome to Art and Tea with Angie. Oh, I got to give myself, I don't got any more tea left. Okay, I've been working. Okay, I forgot to say that at the beginning. 
Okay. Um, all right. So the thing I want to do first of all is I've taken a picture on my iPhone. I've taken a picture of what this looks like. And the reason I do that is so that I don't forget. So see, I've taken a picture on my phone and that keeps me so I know where everything goes. <clears throat> so I like to take things off in kind of the order that, um, cause everything's layered upon everything. So, okay. So that comes off. So I'm just right now, just going to take some of the basic pieces off. And I lay them to the side so I can kind of keep track of what I'm doing. Um, oh, this piece has to stay here. This goes... <gasps> one second, babe. Oh, one second. Okay. So I'm taking that off. Okay. This is staying and that is staying. This butterfly is going right now. And this is going to go for right now. And this piece will go up here. And this piece will go here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to leave these two pieces alone. So I'm going to go ahead, because I like exactly where they're at, I'm going to apply, um, I'm using a... Uh, matte medium. I'm applying it right to the area. A lot of times I apply it to, um, and I'm going to wipe it off with a baby wipe excess. And also I'm going to take a roller and I'm going to roll it. So it really rolls nicely and there's no air bubbles. Okay. Normally I do apply it to the back of the piece, but when I have things exactly where I want them at, um, when I have them exactly where I want them, because, you know, that's going to be like, that's the whole balance of the piece are these two pieces underneath and everything's going to be built up off of that. It's kind of the little system I've created for myself with this. Cause if these two pieces are exactly where I want them to be, everything else is going to, um, it's going to, uh, work out really, really nice. Let's take off the excess here. Okay. There's a little hair right there. Okay, and try, as soon as I can, roll right over so this all stays really, really nice. Okay. Next, this piece here, I like exactly where this piece is at. So again, without moving it, we're going to get this laid down. Okay. There we go. hope this isn't too boring watching me pace, but what's kind of cool is you're going to watch this whole thing. I think it's cool. Come alive. Okay. All right, let's um, very quickly wipe off the excess. This is, I wipe off the excess with a baby wipe. And then do a rolling. Okay, and this just ensures that everything is rolled on nicely. Now, I don't know what this is at the bottom right here. All right, just rub that up. I don't know what the heck that was. But you want to keep your sheet, in, in this case, really nice and clean. And I'm not going to be putting any, like, regular decoupaging. I'm not going to be putting this matte medium on top, okay? I want everything to stay its true color. Um, I will do a spray adhesive outside, like a spray, so nothing gets, like, rolled on top of this and, like, loses its color. So, okay, so the next thing we want to do... Let me see what my next layer is. My next layer is going to be this piece here and then this piece over it. Okay. And then this. Okay. And then this is going to go over 
I'm just looking at what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm looking at my, um, I'm looking at my, at my picture here. Okay. I'm going to turn the seat. This goes, yeah, this goes underneath. Okay. So I'm just trying to get my pieces together, people. I'm trying to get my pieces together. Yeah, that goes right there like that. Okay. So that's where we need to have this at. And like I said, if you want to get your, if you, if, once you make your, um, once you create your little arrangement of where you're going to put your pieces at, it's really nice to have that picture there so that it turns out like the vision you had. Now, if you want to wing it and you don't want to have work from an original vision, then don't. Don't do it like that. Um, wing it. I'm sure that can turn out really cool too. Okay. Because some people, that's how they like to work. They don't like to have things pre-planned. They like to work off the seat of their pants and like things work out better for them that way. So do what works for you. But this is what works for me. So that is why I do it this way. And you guys, um, what I'm pasting, what I'm using to, to put the glue on my stuff is I have it. You can use a phone book, but I don't have any phone books. So I'm just using an old magazine that I don't care about that I've already torn out all the pictures and stuff. And um, that enables you to always have a nice clean surface to do your pieces on. Okay, let me use my roller and roll that on. See how nice and flat that gets it? Like this right now, I'm rolling it on this magazine right here that I don't care about. So, and let me make sure we're still recording. Yes. Make sure you guys are seeing that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Next, we are going to put this piece in. And this is going over this. And part of the boot. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Okay, my edges are curling up like insanely. The cheaper the uh, magazine pages that are made, like the more the curling you get, which can perturb you. Okay. Again, let's go ahead and lay that down. Okay. That looks good. All right, next. What did I have next to be doing? Um, let me look at the next page too. The scissors go over that. Just a second, I'm looking at my picture here. I just need to look at the look at it a little closer. I think next goes my butterfly. Yeah, yeah, because those lay over that. Okay, so the next thing is, is going to be my big butterfly piece. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? It's got, I got this from a calendar, which I love. Okay, so my butterfly needs to go in. Let me see how much is going to be covered here or not. Yeah. Because then I want this to go over here to cover up that head of that, which I don't want to be seen. Okay. So I like where this butterfly is at right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this over here and what I do is I, I take this old magazine and I turn this over. See how this was a calendar piece? So make sure you get calendars too. Dollar Tree, um, they have beautiful calendars. Um, thrift stores, garage sales, wherever. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. This is a big old piece. Okay. All right, I think this is the way I want this. Yep, let's roll it down. Let's get it rolled down. Isn't this a nice, be able to use a tool like this? Now, I only use this tool for um, for this decoupaging um, or for my collaging. I don't use this with my jelly plate. I have another one for my jelly plate so that this stays nice and clean so we can do really nice, clean work. Okay, and I keep a baby wipe on hand to what keep my fingers clean and also keep my piece clean. Okay, next we're going to put in. Let's go ahead and work, still work over here and get this because I don't like don't like that. Let's get that covered up. Okay, so this piece is going in right there. Let me see if it's going to be like right like that, and then that goes there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm putting some more of my matte medium, okay? You guys can use a decoupage medium too if you want. I just, um, I really like this stuff, so. I kind of feel like the matte medium will give you a more professional look. I think it's thinner, but really effective. Sometimes the decoupage stuff is really thin. Thick, but try it out you guys you know what try it out see what you like so I've just been working with this matte medium and I really really like it so okay I'm about to create some wrinkles up in here okay let's get that down and let me check my camera make sure I'm still in frame a little bit because we're working at the top okay all right so next we're going to take this piece here aren't these gorgeous these are just some architectural pieces that i found um i think they're gorgeous i, I don't know if they were i can't even tell you what they're from but in some magazine it was some little architectural piece off of something and i cut it off and that's what you do you find things that are interesting to you to your eye and because they're interesting to your eye you'll choose things that you'll want to use in your collage and you'll also choose colors that you want to use so just trust yourself the only thing i wouldn't trust yourself about is to remember exactly where you want all these pieces to go if you have like a um a really strong idea of what you want like how i do um definitely do what i said uh take a picture of it on your phone and you can refer, you have something to refer back to. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna glue in the scissors. Isn't that cool, these scissors? I love them. <gasps> love them. Now, this is the part that's quick, pretty quick is, you know, gluing all these pieces on. But I took the time off camera to one, choose all the pieces and also to cut them all out. And that's where, that's where the time comes in. And the, the arranging and rearranging, like I rearranged this for a couple hours before I decided that this was it. Actually, I arranged it for a couple hours and then overnight I woke up in the morning and then I finally found the last few pieces that I wanted to use. So, if you do need to fret over it, fret over it for a little bit. You don't have to make all your decisions on what you want to use in your collage right away. And this is the thing, for the most part, I don't worry about if I get some wrinkles. Like, I pretty much do it pretty smooth. But if you get any wrinkles in anything, I mean, you got so much going on here, that just adds texture to your piece. That's how I feel. So, look how cool that looks, you guys, with those scissors. <gasps> Love. I mean, who would think this would look good? We got a butterfly going. Some architectural pieces, <clears throat> some scissors, some necklace bits and pieces, something from landscape, a boot. I mean, it's crazy. And look how cool you can make something look. Okay. <gasps> continuing on, people. Continuing on. Okay. Um, is this where I want this? Yes. <gasps> yes, people. Yes. I think I want this like... Let me just see something real quick. And this... 
Okay, so I'm going to take this piece now and bring it over to my sheet or my magazine and get it all glued up, that medium it out. Okay. Oh, this piece just curled up on me like there's no tomorrow. Okay. Sometimes they do that. Okay, I want this to show a little bit right there. I know I want that to go in there. And I know I want that there. Okay. Okay. Immediately, as soon as you can, get get yourself rolling. But do lay it down first, kind of the way you want it to be, and then just get air bubbles and wrinkles out. Go over with this, and they get everything really nice. Okay. Now these were, Lord only knows what the heck these were. I have no idea, but they're cool. And I want to put those right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these glued on. And like I said, you guys, you guys know nothing makes me happier than to be putting together, getting bits and pieces and making something beautiful out of bits and pieces. Um, you know, nothing makes me happier. Whether it's fabric, um, you guys know I love doing that with laces and fabrics and doilies, taking little bits and pieces and making things out of it. I just love it. I think it's fabulous. Okay. But I can say this, if you want to use decoupage medium, it is way cheaper than um, this matte medium. It's not cheap. But you can get it for a decent price if you, um, for like seven or eight dollars if you use a coupon at Michael's or Joanne's. So, okay, and then we want to take this piece and put that right in there. Okay, and again, what wh what is this? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea at all. It was a piece of something that I thought looked cool, so I cut it out. Okay. Okay, and I have a little bit of matte medium on top of here. Oops. That just moved. Okay, let's just roll that down really quick. Okay, and if you get any um, matte medium or anything on your roller, get it wiped off because you want to keep your roller nice and clean so this work stays nice and clean. Okay, that looks good. Because the white background is a really a big part of, this, of your work. Now, you can do this on a black background too. Oh, and I should say, this is a piece of, what did I use? This is actually a piece of watercolor paper, like a really thick, hot press piece of watercolor paper because I knew it would take really good to like the glue, um, the matte medium and the pieces. You could also use a piece of, um, poster board. Um, you could probably use a 110 pound piece of cardstock. So you can use anything you want. Look how pretty this turned out. And we've gone through and I've showed you guys exactly what these pieces were and we put them all together. So I think this turned out so beautiful and I'm going to make um, prints of these um, and I'll show you guys the prints I think the prints are even gonna look more gorgeous because I make my prints on um, what kind of paper is it it's um brochure paper and I've told you guys that before when I do my other artwork and um, it just brings out the color so beautifully and there'll be a beautiful shine on the entire piece so there we go. I think these look gorgeous. And prints of these will be in my Etsy shop, you guys. So, and prints of these will probably, I haven't priced these yet. So, 
they'll be between 15 to 20 in my Etsy shop. So in the next couple of days. So I wanted to show you guys this. This is my newest, greatest thing that I have discovered that I love. Let me see if there's a little that I absolutely love. Make sure you guys check out Amber Fletschock. She's a collage artist. Check her out on YouTube. She only has, like I said, two interviews on YouTube. And then um, that, she doesn't even have her own channel. And her artwork is in a um, in an art gallery in Minnesota, in a mixed media, mixed media art gallery. And um, But you can also check out the rest of her images on Google. You can Google her. So anyway, you guys, I just love this. I wanted to share this with you. If you guys want any prints, go to my shop and you can get prints of this work. If you are inspired to, may start doing your own artwork like this. I inspire you to do so. Um, let me go through my little, I have a little checklist, you guys see, this is all the stuff I need to say on each video. Um, if you guys like, you can join me on Facebook and Twitter. It's Angie Bell on both. Um, you can visit me, um, for prints of this or any of my other artwork. There'll be prints of this, prints of this one, and then the other one I showed you guys, um, at www.myfairytreasures.etsy.com. Also, there'll be prints of the work I just finished. You guys saw this. I just did this on, on film. This is my newest little fairy girl that I, I painted and drew and put her into a little fantasy world. Okay. And that video is right before this video. So you can check that out. I go through and do a whole tutorial of how I created her. Um, if you can give my video a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you can leave a comment, I know you can't always leave comments, but I'd love for you to do so. But if you can't leave a comment, just do a thumbs up. But if you do a comment, also leave a thumbs up. <laughs> And if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you share my channel with someone else, that would be awesome. And like I always say, always be creating, teaching, and sharing. Peace.